Well, howdy, howdy, howdy. Nearly senior citizen here. Mm -hmm. Greetings, boys, mm -hmm. girls, mm -hmm. and all of our mm -hmm. non binary mm -hmm. friends. Mm -hmm. And welcome to this another brand new day wherein my voice is just destroyed. It may not sound as bad to you as it does to me. I explained how bone conduction, how water travel, how water, air, sound travels through water. And so you do not sound the same to you as you do to other people. So my voice sounds terrible to me. And it sounded awful. All, do, all during my recording yesterday. But when I went back and listened to it, I sounded 90, well, 75% okay. So hopefully I sound okay today. Because yesterday I took no cannabis at all before I recorded. No flower or bud, no concentrate. Today I had three hits of Reclaim mixed with actual concentrate inside of it. Because if I get concentrate that's too difficult to put on a dab stick, I'll just mix it in with any reclaim that I happen to have to bump up the THC of the reclaim. So I had that this morning. My voice box is irritated because of the pollen and irritated because of the oil dab. So thumbs up. <laughs> Thank you. I'm very sorry. But as I explained to my therapist yesterday, oh good lord, that sounds worse. <coughs> you may not be able to detect a huge difference, but because I can, and I can feel it because I have to push extra hard to get through the clogs on my vocal cords, it's irritating to me, even if you don't really feel it, because I have to, I'm driving on a dirt road through bushes instead of a normal two-lane, you know, blacktop road, and you may not see it, but it's it sucks on this side. I love allergies. Yay. Couple things I've written down. Some of them are good. Some of them are just silly. But one of the things that I almost did last night. I've had. I do have a green screen. In fact, I have two. One that it got messed up in the mail, and so they sent me another one that was well done, and that one is good. So I have a green screen that I could put up back here. And I almost did that last night. I was going to move the hamster thing here so this wasn't in view. I was going to move my chair out of view. I was going to use the camera, take a picture of the back back here. And then I was going to put up the green screen. And then from then on, just put up the green screen so that what's back here is just a green screen and I can put goofy stuff. This is not a big room. This is not a large room. And back when I ordered the green screen, I did not have the hamster cages and such like that where things are now. I washed down medications and stuff earlier, and so I'm carbonated beverage trying to escape right now. Not the beverage itself, just the gases produced and the interaction of that with the medications and supplements I took. So, yeah. <clears throat> so I don't have a a ton of room. I could put the green screen up back here, but then I'd really have trouble getting over onto that side, around it, and then there just wouldn't be room here for the door to open. And green screens, if you get the kind that hang the, the cloth inside of a big metal hoop, they're like 10 feet tall by, you know, like eight feet wide. So it almost touches the ceiling when I hang it and it's like this far above the floor and it's just, there's no real room the way I've got things set up. So right now, I'm not going to green screen in that fashion. Who knows what will happen? Now, the big thing that's got me irate at people and just exasperated. There are the anti-SJW alt-right grifters out there that freak out over everything because we've figured out and we have learned through actual scientific studies that those people that are, well, self-identify as conservative and anti-SJWs and all that identify as conservative, they have largely overactive fear portions of their amygdala. They are ruled by fear. They act by fear. Their amygdala, the fear portion, is in charge. No value judgments. It's just that if you have that, you tend to identify and act as conservative. And if it's really big, I guess you become an alt-right grifter. 
because we also have found through scientific studies that if you do identify as conservative and you have that overactive amygdala, you are so much more susceptible to believing stuff that's not true. The GOP, the right in this country, is just flooded with stuff that is not true by the people in charge deliberately fed lies and because of their brains they believe it no value judgment i'm not going to make value judgments on people in wheelchairs because they can't walk i'm not going to make value judgments on these people because they were born this way the problem is they are being exploited and it's hurting the rest of us because we have these alt-right reactionary grifter types that are so pissed off about well right now the thing that gets me upset about it is there's the game uh, was it lost horizons is a far future thing where there's robots instead of animals and the human beings have to live by defeating those the main character alloy is a young woman she, in this latest game that they're coming out with, looks like a real person, a real young woman living in a post-apocalyptic society. She's more attractive than she should be in that society, but she's still fine. She looks great. Like I say, still more pin-up than should be in that society, but it's fine. They are so pissed. These alt-right reactionary types that are just pissed off about this one character, they have, as an example of what the character should look like, this perfect glow up face with perfectly plucked eyebrows and perfectly applied makeup and a big smile for the male gaze. Looks like she spent an hour or two in front of the mirror and has to check every hour to make sure she still looks good. The thing is, they're saying hire the fans to do this and the person that made that picture made it to poke fun of that trend. It's a parody of that sort of thing. They are making fun of that. So the alt-right grifters and the reactionaries and the anti-SJWs are pissed because they want the game to look like this thing that is a parody of what they like. There's nothing wrong with a person looking like a person. I think that's great. If you live in a post-apocalyptic society, you aren't gonna look wonderful. You're not gonna look like a pinup. She should look like just a normal person instead of, and the thing they get pissed about, if any female character in the game is not absolutely 100% over-sexualized, well, it's too woke, isn't it? And no, people can look like people. That's actually one of the reasons I like the game Days Gone. I haven't played it a whole lot. Parts of it really piss me off. As an artistic choice, one of the things that I really like about that game is the main character, the guy. He's not a traditionally attractive guy. He's plug ugly. He always looks like he's, well, as far as I played in the game and from everything that I have seen in materials and other people playing it, he always looks, his face is reddish, especially around his nose and right through here. He always looks like he's about ready to break out into acne. His nose is too long. You know, he's got a scruffy looking beard. It's not attractive. He's not a good looking guy and he's made worse by the fact that it's an apocalypse. And I think that's awesome. I love it just for that alone. Because people don't look great in an apocalyptic setting. People are trying to survive. And especially they get so pissed off about the game The Last of Us 2 where there is this one woman, what's her name? Uh, I can't even remember now, Allie? Where they show in game how this woman can be as buff as she is, why she's buff. They give her reasons, they give her a backstory, they give her a purpose, they show why she can be the way she is, they give her a motivation and reason and background, and the point is, you never require that. They never require that for anything but the women. 
take a look at like the Gears of War games. I think it is with Mark Phoenix, the main character. If if, if I'm wrong in the, the title of the game, but it's the main characters. Here's the point: nobody ever asks that on their side of the men. These men are so big and bulky, and you never see them do anything to make them big and bulky. They're so big, they wouldn't be able to run. It is not realistic. They would have no stamina. And they never show them in any way, shape, or form maintaining that, or why they are that way, or why they do that. But no, that's fine. That's good. Because he is an attractive, big, bulky man. But the moment a female character becomes anything less than just cheesecake for the male gaze, oh my god, they melt down. I want games where people look like people, especially in a situation where you wouldn't look at your best. Now, because that's semi-political, everything's political, everything is politics, that's the thing. You talking to somebody at a countertop at a grocery store for five seconds is politics, it's people politics. It's just, it's codified for government, but politics is everything. But one of the things I was thinking about last night, because I think about everything on, you know, whether it's deep or not, rodents as pets and my little hamster running around inside of his cage, little ghost. The thing is, hamsters aren't really domesticated. They're in a weird half state. They're not really tame but they're not really wild in the state that we get them now because the United States climate and weather is not their natural state. There are desert creatures, but they can't really take too much heat anymore. They're in a weird state. But even at that, if you have a hamster as a pet, <clears throat> hamsters do not require human contact other than as a pet, you know, you need to keep them fed and watered and clean. So you got to clean their cage and do stuff, but they don't need to be interacted with. They are perfectly happy if you provide them with their needs, living by themselves in a cage with no interaction with you at all. And we're people, we're independent organisms. We don't need pets. But if you do, with a hamster, you don't need to interact with it. You can just keep it in a, a cage so that you only look at it. And that's fine. That's a perfectly valid way of keeping a pet. But the thing is, when I take my little guy out, and he doesn't run when I reach down carefully, you know, not like a predator, but I come down and I scoop him up and I pick him up and he doesn't jump or run. He just sits on my hand as I pick him up and bring him out. He doesn't freak out, he doesn't panic, he knows my smell, and he knows that I mean him no harm. So when I put him on me, he runs around, and he sniffs, and he snurfs, and he comes up on my shoulder, and then if he, when he feels safe, he cleans himself. And that is one of the ultimate compliments, because rodents like that will not clean themselves unless they feel safe. So the fact that you've got a little rodent running around on you, it feels safe enough to clean itself when it's on you and that is again trust so they don't need to interact with you but they will and they'll enjoy it <clears throat> and I don't need to interact with the hamster but I do and I enjoy it so the hamster itself doesn't need people but is perfectly happy to be on its own and perfectly happy to run around on a person and interact with a human being. And I don't need to interact with a, with a hamster to stay complete as a human being. I could just look at it from a distance. But it also pleases and helps me to let it run around on my body and just be a little rodent. So yes, we could both be perfectly happy without ever interacting with each other on any way, shape, or form other than just at a distance and keeping fed and clean. But why? The hamster enjoys it and I enjoy it, so yeah. It is a positive interaction for both of us and that's a very, very good thing indeed. And I've opened up 24 hours worth of comments in my community tab and I'm gonna go through and thank 20 to 25 people for having left me a comment. I am not reading the comments right now. I'm gonna read them afterward. Thumbs up each one I do. Answer as many as my executive dysfunction will allow. I 
Again, you may not hear it, but I can feel it and ugh. Elizabeth, but as many as my executive dysfunction will allow, and if I mispronounce a username, no disrespect is intended. I am an American English speaker, and even though I count American Sign Language on the fingers of this hand, with my depression, fibro, uh, occasional cannabis use, occasional cannabis use, I have issues with short-term memory. So, do the best that I can. Thumbs up for that. Let me call it my chrome here. Oh, I feel like I'm going to burp. Ugh. We have Fiza Sheik, thumbs up and thank you. Trucker Rob, greatly appreciated. Jason Damon, thumbs up. We have Ricky Bettini, greatly appreciated. Confused Owl 29, yeah, watch for yourself when you go through doors. It's it's amazing. Adrian Bryan, thumbs up and thank you. <laughs> Dick Spit, thumbs up and thank you much. It's okay, greatly appreciated. DVR03. Uh, hopefully, my uh, DMing you on Twitter hasn't been annoying. We have F. Garrido, 1741, thumbs up. And Johnson Dergs, greatly appreciated. Colin Reisnauer, thumbs up. Sebastian Ferris, always good to see you in the comments. We have Skyscraper GD, thumbs up. Potato Tron, always good to see you in the comments. Oh, I meant to talk about the phone. Yeah, I still have the phone. It's just the whole sim thing and the situation I was in. So, and then we have Silver Fang 45 and Kapaki, always good to see you in the comments. And then there's Yusuf Zaibar. I ended up spitting there. My apologies, and hopefully I got close. Marco Veer. Thumbs up and thank you. Crystal Phillips, thumbs up and thank you very, very much. And that is it. 21 people left me comments. Greatly appreciated. You get me out of my head, into the world, dealing with real people. And that is very, very good. Definitely a thumbs up on that. If you could check out my various links down below, I have Twitter, Facebook, Patreon.com. If you could become a Patreon.com patron, like one of these beautiful and awesome people, that would be beautiful and awesome. And if you'd like to help me out without sending money to the patronage, I have a PayPal link down below. If you'd like to help me out without sending money, I have an Amazon wish list link as well, where hopefully I have finally broken through my executive dysfunction and gotten the reptus hand and hamster food and hamster bedding and cat food and hopefully a pair of shoes on there. That would be good if I did. If you could check it out, that would be great. Do not feel obligated. I do not feel entitled. <clears throat> And if you cannot donate, or you simply do not donate, I take all good wishes and I deposit them in the bank of my heart where I draw interest. So thank you very much. And if you could toss me a like, I appreciate all the positive validation I get from my existence, the definite thumbs up. And of course, if you could hit the notification bell on the subscription button, that would be very cool. Definitely a thumbs up on that. Well, so hokey smokes. I've got a day where hopefully I'm going to find... I talked with my therapist about this yesterday. Where again, it's because I've never made up any habits before. I don't have any right now. So I need to start making them. I need to start making to-do lists. So I'm going to hopefully get some phone calls done today. I'll hopefully get everything I need to get done. So whether or not you are vaccinated, if you have to go out... Please be careful around crowds because the unvaccinated are going to use this whole don't mask yourself if you're vaccinated as an excuse to mingle without getting vaccinated. So if you're in that sort of situation, like in the U.S., please be careful. Wear a mask if you can. Practice your social distancing. Wash your hands. Try not to touch your face. Get a vaccination if you can. It's a good idea. Please be careful. Please be safe. It, it's just, just be smart. It's a good idea. So, you take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side. And that is a definite thumbs up. How about that? That was amazing. <laughs> <laughs>